y'all, it's Charlene from the Crafty Yard Shack, and today we are going to be taking this little wooden truck and turning it into something like this. This is our inspiration. So, let's get to the craft desk and get started. Okay, we're here at the craft desk. What I've done is I've took one of the little presswood trucks and I painted, took the sticker off, and I painted white on the back and then I put a base coat on the front. Okay, so let me show you where I'm at with that. So to save time, here we go. Here's our little truck. I've painted both sides of it white. And then the next thing that I did is I took, while we had our white paint out, I took one of these little Christmas trees that I had left over from last year's project and I took it and I turned it over and I painted this white on the back because you know I like all my projects finished on the back as well as the front. It just makes them look nicer. So this is my little Christmas tree right here and it's still drying. Maybe you can see it better there get it away from this white paint so I've got it drying and then the next step that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip it over once it's dry and I'm gonna repaint this side I'm not gonna worry about the glitter because we're gonna add the glitter back but we want to freshen up the paint on this since it's been this way and it needs to be updated and we need to paint the edges over here too so let's get started doing all of that okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to start on the little tires we want to paint them black so this is a multi-surface black paint and we're going to put some of that down on our little tray here and this one is a satin acrylic dry paint when it says satin that means it's going to have a glossy finish that's going to be perfect for our little tires take my pencil and kind of sketch where how far up the tires need to be and if you want to know how to do this exactly what you'll want to do is take out your ruler you're going to measure how wide your little tire is and this is one and a half centimeters so you stick it at one and a half centimeters right here and then you go up and that's where your little tire should come to so we're going to kind of circle our little line up that way and then kind of sketch it in to come meet that little tire over there and that's what all is going to get painted black okay we're going to do the same thing over here on this little tire we're going to go one and a half centimeters up and i usually just do it for the top of the tire because you've got this point and this point right here so you know you got to come off of there and you just kind of start angling it up if you wanted to be really exact you could measure that one and a half centimeters out this way a couple of times and this way but you don't need to do all that that's only if you need to do it because that's what you feel like you got to do to make it absolutely perfect we're here to make it look nice and go from there i got a little bit of wet paint here on my board so i'm gonna on my paper so i'm gonna dry that up okay so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna paint my little tires black i'm gonna get my black paint and I'm going to go up and follow that little line right there and come back down. Now I want to make sure that I'm painting inside right here and then I want to make sure that I paint along the edges out here. And then I'm going to go over here and while that one's drying paint this side. Okay, what I'm showing you here is that you can use either a brown uh, or a chocolate sprinkle and I'm just painting the little rails on the back of the truck and I'm going to make sure that I get inside each of those little pieces and then um, put several coats on this to get it to where it's fully covered 
and then we're ready for the next step. Now we have that done. Now we're going to move on to painting the truck. I'm just going to use bright red. Okay, I'm going to use that bright red and just continue painting till I get the remainder of the truck painted. And this will take a couple of coats of paint to get that dark red color that I want because as you can see the white is coming through but the white makes the paint stand out brighter so that's why you put that step on there if you don't have the white paint you could have just painted this red but I always like to put a base coat down first Now what we're going to do is we're going to take and highlight all the little areas on our tires, our truck, and our little wood piece up here. So let's start with the little wood piece. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my paintbrush, I have a little bit of water there, and I'm going to take my paint. Now my paint I'm, that I'm going to highlight the red with is going to be uh, white because it would look like snow. So I'm going to take a little bit of white and put it on my brush just like that. And then I'm going to take and dip, dab the other side of my brush in water. And then I'm going to take and dab it down just a little bit. And then I'm going to come along the bottom. And see how that just, that water helps move that white around so that it's not just really stark white. And I'm going to just take and start right there, come around and come back up right here. Now we don't need to do over the top of our tires because we've got something else going there. So I'm gonna dab in my white again. Then I'm gonna dab the other half of my brush in that. And then I'm gonna put it right here, dab some of that water off. And then I'm gonna come up here to the top of my truck. And I want this to look like, you know, I'm using the white because it's gonna help it to look. And if you get too much on there, it's okay. Go wipe your brush off, dab it in the water, and run it on there, and it'll take that and move that white around. And if you need to take some of that water back off, look at there. Look how easy that is. If you mess it up, it's okay. It's just paint. We can fix it. So I'm going with the shape of the truck here to give it that highlight, and my highlight is sneaking down here too far for me. So I'm going to take my baby wipe and just move that around till I get it where I want it to be. It's just like baby white painting before. We can move that around. So I'm going to come back in here with my white again and water, dab, a little bit more water, dab just a little bit. And you can also take and dip your paint, dip your brush after you've wiped all the paint off and just come in there with just water and move things around until you get it to look like you want it to look. And then come back and dab some of that water out. And just keep moving that paint around until you get it to look just like you want it. And then I'm going to come up here and go across my little boards with some white. Now I'm going to uh, do my tires with the same white and I kind of want to go here around and when I do this I'm 
pushing down and lifting up pushing down and lifting up and if you get too much on there just take your finger and dull it down I got too much on this tire so I'm taking it off with a baby wipe until I got the amount on there that I want. It's called baby wipe painting. If you haven't seen the video, it's this one right here or up here somewhere on the screen. Now what I'm getting ready to do is splatter paint and I'm going to use my toothbrush and the end of my paintbrush and I'm showing the motion that it, you do the splatter painting and I'm going to pick up the brown first and use the chocolate sprinkle and this is going to give it that old truck look and what i'm going to do is take my toothbrush dip it in water and then dip it in the chocolate sprinkle and then after that i'm going to take and bring it over and do the splatter paint this is what it should look like right here this is what your brush should look like and then i'm going to take and pull back the paintbrush across those bristles. You can't see it here very well, but it does show up once you start doing it on the project. You can see it on the white paper there. And I'm just spraying it with, I call it spraying it, splattering it with that brown chocolate paint. And then I'm gonna rinse out my brush and I'm gonna come back with the white. Uh, but I wanna make sure my brush is good and cleaned out. Now I'm going to dip it in the water again, and then I'm going to dip it in the white paint. And then I'm going to come back and splatter it just like I did the brown paint. And that's what I'm showing you here. And the white should show up on this red a little better. And it's okay if you get it on your truck tires because we want it to have that old look anyway. And so we're just going to go through there and splatter paint it. Okay, so here's what you do. You take your, dip your brush in water. Then you come over here to a little bit of the paint and you wanna make sure it's real watery right there. So if it's not, put a little bit more down. Put water down until you get it to be really fine like that. If it gets too fine, you can pull some more white paint over and then you just roll it just like that. And this is what your brush should look like. Okay, then we're going to come up here and we're going to add the little highlights to our truck now. And we're just going to kind of do like this. And then we don't have to worry about there. And then we got like here, here. We should have a little handle on the door. Right there. And then we're going to go here, here. And then we should have one here. And then we come over here at this end and we're just going to go down and then that should be covered. Okay, and then across here. And then we'll go hit the tops of our little thing here. And then our tires should have a little And that's it. And we've highlighted our little truck. Uh, let's put one in here and then make one go down here for the door. There we go. And we got a little truck highlighted. Okay, so we're gonna clean out our brush. Okay, what we're gonna do now is come in with our black Sharpie marker fine point and we're gonna go all the way around the edges. And what I'm doing is I'm drawing a line, doesn't have to be straight, and then I'm doing two little tick marks. Draw a line, two little tick marks. And I'm actually outlining the door as well.
Then I'm taking my Sharpie fine point marker with a real fine point and I'm coming in here and adding some more little squiggly lines just randomly. They don't have to be straight and they don't have to be perfect. Now I'm going to try this gel pen, white gel pen, since I don't have a Sharpie marker and see what I get on the tires. It's automatically doing like a skip mark so that turns out really good for you. It doesn't stay solid. Okay, now we have a little truck highlighted. I forgot to highlight this handle. So let me come back in here and highlight that. Now, we are going to take and embellish our little truck. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do the first thing I did is I took one of my uh, pieces of cardboard that came out of one of my sticker packs and I took and cut a little, I, tra I put it under here and I traced it and I cut me a little outline for my truck. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to glue that down, but before I do that, just like that. Now that looks kind of just dark white sitting in there. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to put some little shimmer like it's a glass pane on here. And do that so it doesn't look just as if it was just put in there. And then I'm going to take my little, make some little dots after each one of these little lines. And then I'm going to come in here and just do that to kind of make it look like it matches the truck instead of just being stuck out there. Now I'm going to turn my truck over and I'm going to take and glue this down. I already know it has to be lined up with that window. So I'm going to take and put it this way and then I'm going to check it and then I'm going to press it down just like that okay now the next thing we need to do is we've got some little fenders now I cut these little fenders out of an aluminum pan and here's a picture of that aluminum pan and these aluminum pans came from the Dollar Tree this one's going to go up here in the front this one's going to go back here in the back, just like this, and we're going to put those down. So I'm going to get out my little hot glue finger, because I'm going to need it. And I'm going to take and put plenty of hot glue on here, but you have to work really fast with this, because this is a metal, and it gets cold faster. So I'm going to put plenty of hot glue on here, and if you're touching it, it's going to get hot. And then the next little thing we need to do is we need to embellish these little wheels. So out of that same pan, I have, I cut little circles. And so we're going to take and put these on from the back side. And this is what we want them to look like. So let's turn our little truck over. We're going to put glue down all the way around this little edge here. And then we're going to place our little circle on there. And we're going to make sure it's covering that hole completely. And then we're going to press it down. Turn it over, and there's the other side. So let's do this one up here.
Okay, so now this is what we have. Pretty cute. Now these just came out of my button stash. I don't know where they came from. It's some that I had found in my button stash. I probably pulled them off some old clothing that I wasn't going to wear anymore and then used the clothing to make something else. I got a little sign here that I cut out on my Cricut and it says Merry Christmas. Then I'm going to take my little spatula. It came from the Dollar Tree. It looks like I need to get a new one because I noticed yesterday it was starting to crack on me. And then I very carefully take this up. I got one little letter there that's wanting to come up. Now, isn't that just cute? I'm going to take and make sure that this is all the way down. And now, all we need to do is take and add our little trees to the back of it. So now, let's go work on that little tree. Okay, now we're working on our little tree. We're painting it green. And it's going to take at least two coats of paint. And right there at the bottom, we don't have to worry about those little rough spots because that's going to be covered up and where our white overflowed, it's okay. Now we're taking brown and adding it down there for the tree trunk. Even though it's not going to be seen, we're doing it anyway. Um, I just happen to do that with my projects. So now what we're doing is we're coming back in with the white paint. And I kind of have white and green on my brush at the same time. And I'm just kind of doing switch marks back and forth on each side of the tree so that I can get that Christmas tree look. And I am just keep working it until I get it to look like I want it to look with the little white caps on the tree. Okay, now what you see me getting ready to do is I'm loading up my paintbrush and putting white on it and I'm getting ready to come in here and put my little white squiggly lines in there and it's just adding character to the okay next I'm coming in with my fine tip sharpie marker and adding the little black in then I'm coming back with the chocolate sprinkle and sprinkling the tree and then I follow up with the white and sprinkle the tree with the white uh, paint as well and then I come back and I'm adding glue to this because I'm going to add uh, clear glitter back to this side of the tree and I'm adding a little bit more glue because it didn't turn out like I wanted it to and adding more glitter to that and then the next thing you see me doing is I'm taking the truck and I'm going to add some glitter to that as well because we want this to look like it has little snow caps on it so we're going to go and add that okay the next thing i'm doing is i'm taking the little truck and i'm positioning it over the christmas tree and then i'm going to add hot glue to the back of the truck and then i'm going to place it on top of the christmas tree with the christmas tree sticking out of the back of my little truck and now that i have it in place the next thing i'm going to do Okay, the next thing I'm doing is I took a pick apart that I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm gluing it down. And then once I get that glued down, it's just a little sprig of garland. And then I'm going to take another piece of red garland and I'm going to trim it so that it lays flat against the edge of the truck. And I trim the side that I wanted to be flat against the truck. And I'm putting that down and then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add the little poinsettia to it and I'll just glue that down and hold it there until it dries and then we have our cute little truck and we're going to stick it right up under there just like that and isn't that too cute Okay, before I close out this video, I want to show you how I cut some of the pieces. For my little piece that I cut from my window, I just traced it out of a piece of cardboard, cardstock, or whatever, and then just cut it out. And then after that, I'm going to, uh, I would glue it down 
to that part of the truck just like I showed you in the video and then what I'm showing you here is how I got my little pieces I take my embossing tool that came from the Dollar Tree and I'm tracing around the edges of the truck and then I'm going to trace the inside circles of the wheels and then I'm going to take that off then what I'm going to do is I'm kind of going up and guesstimating where I want my little fenders to be and doing it again for the back end and then right over the tops of the wheels take my scissors and then I cut it out and this will be my little fenders for the truck and this is how I cut the fenders out I just wanted to make sure I showed y'all all of this before I actually finished this video um, this was probably the best place to put this in there so that y'all could see and then also for my little circles that are on the inside of the wheel I just take in a little um, medicine bottle and the cap off of it and trace around it with my embossing tool again the embossing tool works really good for this and then I just cut out the little circle and as you can see it's perfect for right there in the wheel of the truck and I'll repeat the steps for the fender on the front and the fender on the back and the wheel cover all right, y'all, we just finished our cute little red truck that we're going to use for another project in this Christmas series that we're doing. And this is the one we took inspiration from. Now, I looked on the Kirkland's website. That one's $13, and it's a 19-inch truck. Um, but this one's not quite as big, but it is so cute. So... That's it for this episode of the Crafty Art Shack. We hope you like us and subscribe and give us a big thumbs up. And we'll look forward to seeing you in our next video when we're making more stuff for Christmas. All right, you guys, I just took this project that we just completed, our little red truck. And this is our project we completed in our other video. So look how cute this would be added to the top of that Christmas plaque sign that we have here. Now, wouldn't that just be adorable? Let me see if I can't get it all the way in the shot for you. Wouldn't that just be adorable? So, keep watching to see what we do with this little red truck in our Christmas series videos. And we'll look forward to seeing you on another episode of the Crafty Arch. We'll see you later. Bye!